Well, good day, tubes. Well, what the heck time is it? It's getting on, anyways. And uh, we're back. As you can see, they're all still here. The freaking inventory didn't go anywhere. <laughs> but anyways, uh, wasn't much happening today. I uh, was trying to get caught up in some office paperwork stuff, and that was a freaking nightmare. But we got her, I think, pretty much sorted out. Wasn't too busy while I was away. There was one full burial and uh, one cremation. And then just a couple little piddly things, you know, people are looking for plots or whatever. But, um, yeah, so overall it was pretty quiet while I was gone, which is good. Saves me trying to catch up after, you know, so uh, when I get back kind of thing. But, um, yeah, and uh, I was just out in the hoe for a few minutes there. I had a couple of piles of dirt delivered way, way at the freaking back there from uh, some guy who was digging out his basement or something. So he brought like ten pretty much full loads of dirt, so... I had to kind of get on top of the one pile and then just keep scooping it here and there until it was leveled off a bit, enough that I could drive on it to squish the rest around. But I guess when I was away last weekend or something, we apparently got a heck of a lot of rain here, and uh, I could tell by that piles of dirt it was pretty mucky. So kind of made some ruts and stuff in it, so whenever she dries out a bit more with the sun on her, I'll have to get back there and level her out. I might even take the, uh, well, there's a few big rocks in it too. I guess I'll have to just keep using the machine, but I was going to say maybe take the plow blade back there and see if I could smooth it out with that, but uh, well, this wasn't bad. It's pretty much clean soil, but uh, there was some rocks and a couple little things of debris in it, so, you know, it's no good for me to use out in the cemetery for nothing, but we'll just level out there and then it'll be a bit higher and uh, should work good. Oh, freaking way bug. But, um, so you can see uh, the grass kind of grew up a bit. Not too bad in this section, because this is the one I did uh, very last before I left. I cut and trimmed this section here right beside the garage, so it's not too, too bad looking. But um, some in the back there are getting pretty woolly, so probably uh, most of this week I'm going to be mowing. And uh, with that big rain we had here, of course, too, that didn't help much. So we got uh, frick load of a frick load of a rain, so she uh, she made the grass grow anyways, so... But uh, a couple of good days of getting right at her mowing and she'll get done, no problem. But I had a, uh, sorry about that tube, I got a freaking bug in my hand. Um, I had a surprise cremation this morning too, but uh, luckily, um, well, I knew I had a burial. But I didn't know if it was going to be a cremation or full size, so I'm like, ugh. But uh, I got a hold of the guys there at the funeral home and they're like, oh, it's just a cremation. I'm like, okay, so... I loaded the tractor bucket up there with the uh, equipment, you know, like the shovels and stuff. Because the cremations I do, I do by hand. It's only like a 16 by 16 hole by 2.5 feet deep, so it's not too bad, right? So I usually do them by hand. And I uh, got the stuff loaded up and uh, someone come to see me. So I'm like, okay, talk to them for a few minutes. Just give it to him. Barely, didn't even get on the tractor. Another guy comes. I think there was all together five people came and I had to have this hole ready by 11. I finally got out at 10.30 to get this hole dug. So I was done in about 10 minutes. It wasn't too bad. So, you know, and then a few minutes later the family shows up. So I'm like, whoo. But uh, I started at about 9 o'clock to get out <laughs> to dig this friggin' hole. And, oh, people after people after people. So sometimes that happens here. If I'm working right at the garage here, I'll just get bombarded by people coming to ask me, you know, where's Joe buried? I don't know. He's back there somewhere. He's dead. doesn't really matter, but whatever. But uh, I always help him, you know, because I know if I was there, I'd want help. So uh, I always help him anyway. So. But it uh, gets to you after a while, you know. But uh, sometimes I can't even work out there because it's so freaking crazy with people, you know. But whatever so yeah we got all that situated and then uh had a bunch of paperwork and stuff to do uh in the office got that straightened around and straightened away and uh what else today played with the backhoe back there and stuff oh yeah the cement guys were in did a couple of new foundations so that took up oh, a couple hours this afternoon as well so that sort of sucked but um oh freaking wayfly holy crap i wasn't holding my phone i'd be blasting the bug sprays but um yeah, that's about all I got accomplished today, the first day back to work, so... <laughs> Anyways, what do you do, but, um... Uh, I had plans to go get some more steel. Didn't happen for the trailer, didn't happen. You know, a bunch of other things I wanted to do. I did get the mower uh, back on the tractor, which I'm sitting on right now. 
and I uh, haven't mowed anything yet but uh, I had to sharpen the blades too so got them sharpened and uh, and uh, yeah put the mower back on so got everything ready to go but just never got to do anything <laughs> but I uh, want to head up maybe in the next couple of few days and get another uh, couple of three to four lengths of that uh, two inch square one eighth inch thick stuff for for, for the trailer and then uh, I'm gonna hopefully get working back on that soon so um, and everything else looked fine when we got home so it was a freaking nightmare of course through Montreal and stuff and uh, what else what else what else uh, it wasn't stopped in Montreal it was congested with traffic but it wasn't really bad until we got back to Toronto here into the express lanes and the collector lanes and crap and then it was just like freaking kibosh so I'm like okay I gotta get out of here so we ended up taking the 400 north to uh, Highway 9 there and then just whipped across home so uh, it's like I'm not waiting in traffic for another like two and a half hours to get to the Highway 410 to head north frig that so we, uh, we just did it that way and it worked good so but uh, yeah I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head um, oh there was a few comments a while back there about uh, the pig let's see if we can see the pig the pig tank uh, so what that was is a 40 pound or 30 pound propane tank, uh, expired one, and uh, we were down at the, uh, for a walk down the railway tracks one day and we seen all these things, you know, from the railway and I'm thinking, huh, so I took a couple of those big bolts for his eyes, you know, they were like really long bolts with the threads and I guess they held together something on the tracks and chopped them short and then nailed them on for freaking eyeballs and then of course his nose was a great big nut and uh, his ears and his lips were one piece at one time so this little square piece here was actually at the tab on the end of this so I just chopped that off and then put those on as his lips and then those little thingies as his ears I don't know what those things were for but and then um, this thing here the curly tail thing is uh, let's see if we can see it a little better here it was uh, something to do with holding the those big plates onto the tracks and then they nail those on I guess or something and then uh, he's got the railway spikes there the nails for for feet so kinda just welded that all up and I had to get some of this pretty piggy pink and uh, geez it's starting to rust already and that was a good coat of paint I put on there but uh, anyways so uh, yeah that's what he is and uh, this was uh, the square knot not here is actually where the the valve was so we just ripped that out and then welded all this stuff on and uh, made a pig so I'm always looking for like smaller tanks too to make smaller little pigs with, but it may not look so good with the bigger parts, you know, but uh, yeah. So there's a few comments on that, so I figured I'd share that with you. And I got a couple of pigs here, but I don't know if they're going to end up being pigs or not, but uh, they'll probably just go for scrap. But uh, yeah, but I guess that's it for today, Tubes. Uh, there's really not much else happening, so uh, the next few days I'm probably just going to be cutting, cutting grass like crazy, you know, so I don't know what it'll be... Uh, slapped up for content for uh, for videos and stuff from uh, the good old Bill's T-Max, but uh, we'll figure something out, you know. Uh, I do, uh, like I say, want to go get that steel, so maybe if we get uh, some time or something, we might get to work on the trailer, but uh, actually, while we're looking at that, let's look at that, or while we're talking about that, let's look at that. Hoo-ha, hoo-ha, hoo-ha! So, uh, I know I had mentioned about uh, removing these side things again and putting them up top, and I'm still sort of thinking I'm going to do that. Got the snowblower to work on too still. And, uh, uh, so I'm thinking, yeah, maybe cutting these off and, and mounting them right inside, you know, and then I'll have to, uh, I haven't ran any of the top bracing yet for the top part of the frame, so I'm going to have to run, uh, do these, you know, from there to there kind of thing, and then the flat piece will sit on there, and I can just spot weld it, you know. I'll probably put more bracing on the top of this, so the the flat steel will have some more, uh, you know, support for that, so it doesn't, you don't get, like, the sinkage disease, you know. Which, you know, I'm not going to get with this, because I'm not going to have that much weight in it, really, so. But, uh, yeah, I just got to go cut all them off, but uh, luckily I didn't, uh, you know, weld into the corners there. I just did the sides right now, so. Shh shouldn't be too hard to get off I'm kind of hoping didn't even get that one 
Oh well. I'm kind of hoping I can just maybe, maybe hit that with the torch and just give, I don't know, if I hit it this way with a torch it might be enough just to blow the welds out so I can uh, get her loose, you know, and just bust her off, but uh, I mean, worst comes to worst, I have to cut them there and then, uh, you know, put this down, it's going to be a little bit shorter, which is okay, I don't mind. Um because then it won't be so hard so high to lift over to dumping your stuff in because mostly this is going to be used for hand bomb and stuff it's not going to be really used much for you know loader work tractor work so but uh yeah that's about it i guess tubes so a couple of a uh, few odd days we'll get working on that hopefully again and uh i don't know if i showed you i got fenders for it eh did i show you that i was down to princess auto there oh i can't even remember now and uh what the freak else did I get? Just miscellaneous -y sort of stuff. Oh yeah, when I was working on Buddy's trailer there for the seals and bearings, I picked up a set of the uh, the uh, freaking fender. So that's of course you know sitting a bit high, but <laughs> she'll sit in there somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's the way she's going to be, I guess. So uh, that's the way we're going to do her. So anyhow, tubes. I guess that's it for today. And uh, remember. Deer rocks. I made those. I can write. But anyways, tubes. We'll talk at you later and uh, talk at you later and uh, talk at you later. And have a good day. Thanks for watching and uh, all the stuff and cool stuff and stuff. So anyways, uh, we do have a mail video coming up soon. But uh, I got a few mails away in while I was away. So uh, I got a question for somebody from I think it was Hong Kong. Uh, I have to double check that packaging, but. Um, it come with just a pair of like sunglasses and I'm curious if there was a letter or something that was supposed to be attached to it but uh, I don't even have your name or nothing so um, if you want to send me a PM if you watch this and uh, let me know if that was you so I can you know at least mention you or something so uh, anyways I guess that's it tubes again that's it <laughs> so have a good one tubes we'll talk at you later